G'day fans, here we are. It is episode seven of the ATP Tour Show coming to you. I'm your host, Jade Colf at the Colf Man, and we're pumped up for episode seven. Yes, it is late, but we're pumping out this episode because time is of the essence, okay? Um, some amazing drama over the weekend. Now, we know it didn't come in Sydney, okay, because uh, Australia destroyed the Slovaks, um, was predicted, was pre quite predictable, okay? Um, when you're not bringing your strongest team to Australia and you're the Slovakian team, okay, um, you're in for a bit of a whipping when Australia were at full strength, playing on a grass court at home at Ken Rosewell Arena. But enough about that. We know Australia is moving on to the world group. Yes, Australia is moving back into the world group. Uh, where they're going to look to impact in 2017. But, but what this show is about is we're talking about the world group Davis Cup semi-finals that took place over the weekend as well. Yes, we had to qualify to get back into the world group, but the world group was going on, and there were four teams left in the world group. We had Argentina taking on the Poms, taking on Great Britain, okay? Andy Murray-led team of Great Britain. They are the champions um, from last year. And in the other semi-final, who did we have in the other semi-final? It was... France and Croatia, okay? So France and Croatia playing in Croatia. So packed drama throughout and Croatia and France, okay? A bit of an upset with this one? No, Croatia were playing at home and I think in Davis Cup, the home, home uh, court advantage is absolutely a huge advantage, okay? Um, so Croatia probably... Uh, with Marin Cilic headlining that team, you know, the former US Open champion. He's had a good run here over the last, the last probably couple of months, the last two slams, huge impact at Wimbledon, found some good form again at the US Open, and he just continued that form, and he spearheaded the Croats, uh, and he destroyed Richard Gasquet there uh, yesterday, I believe it was, in straight sets. I think it was 6-3, 6-2, 7-5, six, and absolutely... Destructive job on uh, Dick Gasquet and Croatia through 3-1 over the French. So, um, yeah, the French have got to be disappointed with that. They are packed full of talent, as we know. They had Gasquet and the new star on the rise, our boy Lucas Pui, okay, who uh, stunned Rafa at the US Open, made a good quarterfinal run there uh, before going down. But... Uh, France are out. Croatia through to the final. So uh, it's going to be Cilic and uh, youngster uh, Korik, um, the young 18, 19-year-old who's burst onto the scene very quickly into the top 50. Um, they're going to be a tough team. And in the other semi-final, which is what I wanted to talk about, we had Argentina versus Great Britain in Glasgow. So playing over there, uh, the defending champions had the home court advantage and an absolutely epic match between Murray and Del Potro on the first day. The match going over five hours, and it was Delpo. Big Telpo. We've been talking about this on the ATP Tour Show for the last three or four episodes. Delpo is back, and he's back with a vengeance. He's taken down Murray on the road in Glasgow. I think Andy Murray's first defeat in a home tie in his entire Davis Cup career. I think he's 14 and one now, okay? So it totally sent a shockwave through this whole entire tie. Now, the match going over five hours, both players out on their feet, and uh, Delpo got the job done. Now, as the tie progressed over the weekend, um, I believe uh, Argentina went up 2-0, so they led 2-0. This thing was done and dusted, but Jamie Murray and Andy Murray, they won the doubles um, to get this thing uh, back on track. And then Murray, uh, in the fourth rubber, um, got the job done in straight sets. Now, he was banged up. He was sore, but he got the job done in four sets. Um, and then we went to the fifth rubber yesterday, which, you know, huge drama with this one. Huge drama. Delpo couldn't back up because he, he played the doubles as well. So, you know, he was out of juice, basically. The big man had to 
had to pull the pin. So Leonardo Mayer had to come in and play the fifth rubber against uh, Great Britain's Daniel Evans. Now, we know about Evans. He had a match point against Stanley Varinka there uh, only a couple of weeks ago in the third round. Um, so he was in playing the fifth rubber and absolutely devastation for Great Britain because Evans pulled up short. Mayer got the job done in an upset in four sets and Evans, who was riding that wave of confidence, uh, now uh, could have been a hero for Great Britain, but they've pulled up short. And that one is an absolute heartbreak up for the Poms because um, they're out. Argentina move on to the final. They are playing Croatia. The final is all set. Croatia versus Argentina. Not too sure where this match is going to be played, uh, if it's going to be in Argentina or in Croatia, but a huge advantage for the home team, without a doubt. Um, expect this tie to be played on two surfaces, uh, one of two surfaces, either a slow clay court or uh, probably a fast indoor court. It's going to be Delpo versus Chilich. Whoever comes out on top uh, in those singles battles there is going to have the advantage. It's going to be an epic tie, but Argentina through and Croatia through. So that's what tonight's episode was all about. Episode 7, we wanted to break that down because that is just fresh, hot off the press. Uh, huge drama. Great Britain out. Um, they won't repeat as champion. We're going to have a new champion, Davis Cup 2017. 2016, I'm sorry. I've still got 2017 on the brain because Australia now in the world group. But 2016, either Argentina or Croatia. Um, we'll see how that pans out moving forward. Stay tuned moving forward. We've got all kinds of action coming up uh, this week. The ATP Tour was back with a couple of, uh, couple of 250 events. Uh, we'll come back on the ATP Tour show and report on that. Um, this is Colf Sports Tennis TV. Your host, Jade Colf at the Colf Man. This is a wrap. We will see you guys soon. Episode 8.